Eusebia Palomino Yenes was born on 15th December 1899 in Caltalpino, Spain, to Augustine Palomino and Joanna Yenes. Eusebia would often accompany her father to beg for food. She was too young to understand his humiliation in asking for a loaf of bread for the love of God. When Eusebia was eight years old, she made her first Holy Communion. She felt Jesus was calling her to belong forever and completely to Him. A short time later, she was forced to leave school and work to help the family. Every Sunday afternoon, Eusebia went to the oratory run by the Daughters of Mary Help of Christians. Here she got to know the Salesian sisters. Noting her maturity and responsibility, they asked if she could volunteer her time to help them. On 5th August 1922, Eusebia began her novitiate and made her religious profession two years later when she was transferred to the house of Valverde del Camino in Spain. Sister Eusebia had the gift of prophecy and predicted the Spanish civil war and the martyrdom of her superior. In the beginning of the 1930s, tensions and persecutions against the Catholic Church began in Spain and Sister Eusebia offered herself as a victim to God for the salvation of Spain. Sister Eusebia was always a gentle channel of joy and peace, treating those around her with great respect and appreciating those who took care of her. Sister Eusebia died on 10th February 1935 the echo of voices of the townspeople of Valverde could be heard following her departure. A saint has died. Sister Eusebia was indeed a living saint. During her lifetime, she worked many miracles. Let us now listen to a few of them. The spinach had just sprouted. What would Sister Eusebia prepare for lunch, especially as important guests were expected? She looked sadly at the sprouting plants. Then remembering that she had left a pot on the fire, ran into the kitchen. She returned soon after and to her surprise, spinach had spread its leaves so much that they could now be gathered and cooked. A benefactor of the college was building a little house for his family on a nearby hill. The home-baked brick walls were already at roof height, but heavy rain would still make them crumble. One evening, preoccupied owing to an overcast sky, he asked Sister Eusebia to pray that it wouldn't rain. But sir, she replied, the ground needs rain. It has been dry for so long. But I will pray, never fear. During the night it poured and poured. Next day the man, expecting to see his little house in shambles, went up the hill. But he was struck dumb. On the site where the house stood, and on it alone, a single drop of water had not fallen. There were a large number of boarders to be fed and there was not a single egg in the poultry. Sister Eusebia was faced with the problem of making an omelette for all the boarders. She went to the nest and brought back a basket full of eggs where the girls just before had failed to find even one. Once the supply of beans had run out, and it was almost dinner time. The pantry was empty. With childlike faith, Sister Eusebia 
went to pray in the chapel. After a few minutes, the doorbell rang and a woman delivered a basket of beads. God, our loving Father, we thank and praise you for the gift of Sister Eusebia Palomino. Through her powerful intercession, we pray that we may grow in childlike faith and in a sincere love for you and our neighbor. Amen. Blessed Eusebia, pray for us.